Norwegian startups like Kahoot, Blue Eye Robotics, and Flow Motion have shocked the world, showing that Norwegians can innovate. And they all had one thing in common. They were all student innovators. Shh. Sorry. DNB have sent the Lunacorn to explore Norway's new wave of innovators. First up, Trondheim. Back in the day, a Viking capital. More recently, swapping helmets for headsets and is now known as Norway's technology capital. And this is largely thanks to the Norwegian University of Science and Technology, NTNU. At the center of the campus, in the old physics building, is a corridor that transforms students into entrepreneurs. Let's walk in their steps. So this is Fram, an open space where any student is welcome to come and get a feel of that entrepreneurial energy. And then there's Start, a student-driven organization who helps turn that energy into ideas. All right, so you have the idea. The next step in the process is Spark, who help you with funding and mentorship. Hey, guys. And if you want to take it one step further, you can even take a master's in your own startup here at the School of Entrepreneurship. Let's go meet their current students. My startup is called Greenstock, and it's a marketplace for recycled construction materials. We're creating a multi-sided platform that connects artists with music event organizers. Costail is the world's first electric autonomous tail for cosplayers. Campus Increment provides teachers with learning data so that they can provide a customized education for every student. The School of Entrepreneurship helps you be more prepared for having a startup in the future. They can help you all the way from what I do with this little idea I have to how do I secure one million in funding. It's not based on grades. You gotta have a lot of motivation to do this. With 25% of the population either working or studying in science and technology, you're more likely to walk past someone flying a drone than riding a skateboard in the city. Two years ago, Arving Technologies was just an idea at Start NTNU. Today, it has a team of nine innovators, all studying at the same time. Trondheim is special in the way that most students do something on the side of study. If you want to do something and you have any skill, there is a place for you where you can grow it. So the whole ecosystem is around you here, basically. Yeah. Go to your classmates wherever to try gather a team to know that on this hill we could go and handpick all the different skills we needed. That's like true magic. It will take its toll on your studies, but overall, do it. Yeah. <laughs> So it seems NTNU is basically a startup factory. But what is Trondheim as a city doing to take the ecosystem out of the hallways and into the high street? And there's a lot of things going on. Digs were established six years ago, and they support and host a lot of uh, startups, actually growing into a new and um, bigger location. Another place is factory, a place for the hardware communities. And we've got work work, which is more about gaming. And also we've got two incubators, NTNU Excel and Grinder Bracka. And then tell me how DMB are playing a role in all of this. Our main goal is to support all the initiatives and we've got a philosophy that we should uh, share our knowledge and our network. So we uh, host a lot of uh, seminars, events and I have to mention DMB Next where we invite a lot of investors and startups. So uh, capital finds idea. So you guys started as students, became student innovators through NTNU and now you have a startup in Trondheim. How is that? Trondheim has a lot to offer culture-wise. There's a, a lot of young people here and we have access to Norway's best tech talent. Turns out, being a student, you have the safest environment around you to innovate, to fail quick and learn fast. And with the right motivation, you too can become one of Norway's new wave of student innovators. <laughs>